Okay, so now um, if we take the next member on the list, is Mr. Ahala Aho, please. Thank you very much, Chair. I believe and hope we all agree on the principle that any new restrictions on the rights of our citizens must be proportionate and coherent and that they should target real problems. Terrorist attacks should not be used as an excuse for measures that have nothing to do with the problem. There are elements in the Commission proposal that raise concern. I will mention some of them. The Commission proposes to ban semi-automatic firearms which resemble automatic firearms. In practice, this would mean certain semi-automatic rif sporting rifles that are widely used in practical shooting and some other disciplines. The first question is, how can you determine objectively whether there is enough or too much resemblance between one firearm and another? Secondly, even if you can define a firearm which resembles an automatic firearm, what is the point of a ban? These kinds of weapons are very seldom used in any type of crime, and to my knowledge, they have never been used for terrorist purposes in Europe. Also, as you should understand in the Commission, the firepower of a firearm does not depend on what it looks like. The only time a legally possessed semi-automatic rifle has been used by a terrorist in Europe was in Norway in 2011. Mr. Anders Breivik used a Ruger Mini-14 rifle. Ironically, this is one of the very few semi-automatic sporting rifles that do not resemble an assault rifle at all. Thus, it would not be affected by the proposed ban, while almost all other comparable rifles would be. In your proposal, you refer to the high ammunition capacity of these weapons. As you should understand, but obviously don't, high ammunition capacity is a property of a magazine, not of a firearm. If you want to ban high capacity, you should want to ban high capacity magazines. This, however, would be impractical and pointless because magazines are not registered and they could not be confiscated. The Commission has on many occasions referred to the easy convertibility of semi-automatic firearms into automatic action. Can you name one actual instance where a legally owned semi-automatic sporting rifle has been converted to a machine gun? I don't think you can. The weapons we are talking about are specifically designed so as not to be convertible. Mr. Chair, gun crime in general is rare in EU member states, including those countries with high rates of gun ownership, uh, such as my own country, Finland. Two-thirds of the gun crimes are committed with illegal weapons. Of the rest, almost all involve hunting weapons such as shotguns, which would not be affected by this ban. Dear Commission, this part of the proposal is a political and ideological crusade. It is not based on facts. It will not contribute to more security and it will not prevent the next terrorist attack. <laughs> Terrorists simply do not use these weapons. The Commission also proposes a total ban on fully automatic firearms. These, as a rule, are already prohibited by the existing directive and by national laws. There is a very small number of them in private licensed collections. They have not been used by criminals either. Again, you are barking at the wrong tree. Terrorists and criminals in Europe use illegal military firearms, usually smuggled from former Yugoslavia. This is where your focus should be. The Commission also suggests that all firearm licenses should only be valid for a maximum of five years. What is the point? 
This would increase costs and bureaucracy, but it would bring no added value. Even now, the authorities can and do revoke a license if they have a reason to do so, and this is as it should be. There is much that can be done to make life more difficult for criminals and terrorists. And there is much in the Commission proposal as a whole that we can support. Please do not ruin the proposal and your own credibility with ideas that are disproportionate, incoherent and pointless, and which only affect tens of thousands of law-abiding citizens and businesses. Thank you very much.